All right, welcome everyone to the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes yoga class. I believe it is February 24th. And I will go ahead and pass it over to Marcy to get started. Thanks, Casey. It is February 24th. <laughs> Good deal. <And> welcome. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Hopefully this gets your weekend going strong. And so happy to have you all here to join us for, your, for our yoga class today. So everyone just take an easy seated position, whatever that is for you. You could sit in an easy seated cross-legged position, or maybe your legs are extended out in front of you, slightly bent, just whatever feels good for you. Take an easy seated position. You can rest your hands in your lap. And let's take a moment and ground ourselves, letting ourselves feel present in this moment. And I invite you, if you would like, to close your eyes and just take a moment and just take some easy natural breaths in and out, letting yourself feel grounded and present in this moment. And when that feels complete, if your eyes were closed, you can blink them open now. And let's start by resting both your hands down on the floor on either side of your lap. And on your next inhale, as you breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head as you fill your lungs full of air. And then as you exhale, Gently let your arms float out to the side and down. And maybe as you exhale, exhale out through your mouth, kind of like a big sigh. So let's try that again. Breathe in, bringing your arms out to the side and up over your head, filling your lungs full of that fresh air. And then as you exhale, exhale out through your mouth like a big sigh as you lower your arms down to the floor. One more time. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, filling your lungs full of air, and then exhale out through your mouth as you lower your arms down to the floor. Very good. Now just rest one hand on the floor, and as you inhale, bring your other arm out to the side and up over your head, pause, and then as you exhale, lean over to one side. And then pause in this stretch as you take a breath in and out. Inhale, lower that arm, coming back to center. And let's do that on the other side. As you inhale, keep one hand on the floor and on the opposite side, bring your other arm out to the side and up over your head. Pause when your hand comes up to the top and then exhale and lean to that side. And then pause in this stretch, taking a breath in and out. Inhale, lower that arm back down to the floor, letting your body come back to center. Now place both feet on the floor in front of you with your knees bent. Rest your hands underneath your knees, resting on your hamstrings. We're gonna do a modified cat cow here. Bring your feet together in front of you. And then on an inhale, let your back get nice and tall, drawing your belly towards your thighs. And then as you exhale, round out your back, leaning your back toward the wall behind you, straightening your arms, and then finally lower your chin down towards your chest. Inhale. Bringing your upper body back up to vertical, drawing your belly back in towards your thighs, bending your elbows. 
exhale, lean your back toward the wall behind you, straighten your arms, lower your chin down towards your chest. And also in this position, try to draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, let your upper body come back to vertical, nice and tall. Um, on an inhale and then exhale, round out your back, leaning toward the wall behind you, straightening your arms, lower your chin down towards your chest. We'll do this one more time. Breathe in, drawing your belly in towards your thighs, letting your back get nice and tall. And then exhale, round out your back, straightening your arms, lower your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, coming back to center. I'm gonna turn my body so that I face the short end of my mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Resting your hands just down at your sides with your feet um, or with your legs about hips width apart, or maybe you want them a little bit closer together, that's okay. But just point and flex your toes right now, warming up your lower legs, warming up the muscles in your feet. Just point and flex your feet. And then when that feels complete, um, just rest your heels on the floor. And then on your next inhale, bring your arms forward and up where your arms are parallel with your ears. Your fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling. On an exhale, hinge forward from the waist, lowering your arms down to the floor. And just lower down until you begin to feel a stretch in your, you might feel it in your calves or in your hamstrings, maybe in your lower back. So just come down to where it feels comfortable. We don't want to feel any, uh, any pain, just, um, just a light stretch in your lower back. We're just warming up right now. And then pause in this position, taking a couple breaths in and out. Try and draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, walk your hands back in towards your body about halfway and then pause, giving that stretch a little bit of a break. And then inhale, walk your hands forward again, either coming back to that same spot or maybe walking your fingertips forward just a little bit more, deepening that stretch just a little bit more. And then pausing in this stretch. But don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing in through your nose and back out. On your next inhale, bring your arms forward and up where your fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your arms down to your sides. Now, widen your legs to where they're about a little bit wider than hips width apart or maybe even the width of your yoga mat. Turn your upper body so that it faces your front right leg with either hand, with both hands on either side of your leg, rather. So I have my right hand on the outside of my right leg and my left hand on the inside. I think I said left, I meant right leg, but whichever leg, it doesn't matter. Um, so let your back get nice and tall. I have my fingertips up on, my fingers up on my fingertips in either spider hands or cupcake hands, whatever works for you. So take a nice deep breath in, letting your back get nice and tall. And then on an exhale, begin to walk your hands forward as you lower your upper body down to meet your leg. And again, just come down to where you feel a little bit of stretch in your leg or maybe in your lower back, whatever feels good for you. We never want to feel any pain, no, no sharp pains going through our body, just a nice gentle stretch. And then pause in this stretch, taking a couple breaths in and out. On 
On your next inhale, walk your hands in just about halfway and then pause, relieving that stretch just a little bit. And then exhale, walk your hands forward again, either coming down to that same spot or maybe walking your fingertips forward just a little bit more, deepening that stretch just a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe, taking some natural breaths in and out. Inhale, walk your hands all the way in, letting your back coming back to um, vertical, nice and tall. And let's do that on the other leg. So turn your upper body so that it faces your other leg and frame your hands with your leg. One hand on the outside, one hand on the inside in between both legs. Bring your hands up onto your fingertips in spider hands or cupcake hands. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, um, begin to walk your hands forward as you lower your upper body down to meet your other leg. Again, just come down to where it feels comfortable for you. This is not a competition. This is your yoga, what feels good in your body. dog snoring in the background. <laughs> Inhale, walk your hands in about halfway. And then exhale, walk your hands back down, either coming back to that same position or maybe walking your fingertips forward just a little bit more, deepening that stretch just a little bit more. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, walk your hands all the way back in, letting your back come back to um, vertical. And now let's go down the center. So turn your upper body to where it faces the middle inside of both legs. Place both hands on the inside of your legs with your cupcake hands slash spider hands. Take a nice deep breath in. Then as you exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward, coming down to where you begin to feel a stretch in your legs, during your lower back. Relax your neck and your shoulders as well. We don't want any tension there. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, walk your hands in halfway, releasing that stretch just a little bit. Exhale, walk your hands back down. Maybe walking your fingertips forward just a little bit more. Again, don't forget to breathe. Inhale, release that stretch, walking your hands back in. Bring both legs together. And if it feels good for you, you can just kind of shake out your legs just a little, releasing that stretch. Now bend your right knee, drawing your heel in toward the center of your body. Now, then pick up your right foot and cross it over your left leg. So now your right foot is on the outside of your left leg. Place your hand, your right hand, on the outside of your right knee. And take your left hand and place it on top of your right hand. We'll be doing a little twisting stretch here. Take a nice deep breath in, letting your back get nice and tall. And then on an exhale, twist to the right, drawing your knee in toward your left shoulder. And then if it feels good for you, you can look over your right shoulder. You may feel a stretch in your right hip and maybe a stretch in your back. And hopefully it feels good for you. 
Again, this is just a nice gentle stretch. We don't want to feel any pain, no sharp pains anyway. Not an exhale. See if you can deepen that stretch just a little bit more. Inhale, untwist your upper body, releasing your hands from your right knee. Uncross your right knee, straightening it out in front of you. And let's do that on the other side. Bend your left knee, drawing your left heel in towards your body with your knee pointing to the ceiling. Now pick up your left foot and cross it over your right leg. So now your left foot is on the outside of your right leg. Place your left hand on the outside of your left knee. Take your right hand and place it on top of your left hand. Um, so take a nice deep breath in, letting your back get nice and tall. And then on an exhale, twist to the left, drawing your right shoulder in towards your left knee. And then you can look over your left shoulder if that feels good for you. On your exhales, exhale out through your mouth like a big sigh. And when that feels complete, untwist your upper body, uncross your left foot from your right, straighten your left leg out in front of you, releasing your hands down to your sides. Let's do another twisting stretch with our back. It'll be similar to that. So with your legs extended out in front of you, take your left hand, cross it diagonally across your body, Resting your left hand on the outside of your right leg, just wherever that feels comfortable for you. Take your right arm and place it behind your back. And then we're gonna twist to the right. And you can use your left hand on your right leg as a little bit of boost to um, deepen that stretch just a little bit more. And on an exhale, you can deepen that stretch just a little bit more if that feels good for you. You can look over your right shoulder as well. Inhale, untwist your upper body, letting both your hands rest on either side of you. And let's do that on the other side. Take your right hand, cross it across your body, Resting it on the outside of your left leg. Take your left hand, place it behind your back, facing the wall behind you. And using your right hand as a little boost, you can deepen your stretch just a little bit more as you twist to the left and look over your left shoulder. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, untwist your upper body, letting your um, upper body come back to neutral. Let's come onto our hands and knees in whichever way feels that feels comfortable for you. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and let's breathe into a regular cow position. Breathe in, resting your tummy muscles down, bringing your heart forward, maybe lifting your hips up just a little, maybe lifting your chin up just a little. And then exhale, let's go the opposite way. As you exhale, begin to draw your belly button up and in towards your spine as you round out your back, taking your tailbone under, and then finally lowering your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, breathing into that cow position, relaxing your tummy muscles down, maybe lifting your hips up just a little, bringing your heart forward, looking at the wall in front of you. Exhale, 
Draw your belly button up and in towards your spine as you begin to round out your back, pressing your back up toward the ceiling, tucking your tailbone under and lowering your chin down towards your chest. Let's do that two more times. Breathing into your cow position, letting your tummy muscles rest down, bringing your heart forward. Exhale, round out your back, draw your belly button up and in towards your spine, lowering your chin down towards your chest. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. And then let's just come back to regular hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, or tuck your toes where um, your, your toes are touching the floor, your knees are touching the floor, your hands are touching the floor. And let's ground our hands and our toes into the floor as we begin to lift our knees up off the floor, lifting our hips up toward the ceiling as we press our upper body away from the floor, coming into a downward facing dog. And in this position, you can bend your knees a lot or you can straighten your legs, whatever uh, feels good for you. Just press your upper body away from the floor, letting your back get nice and long. And then starting with your right foot, step, just take a little baby step forward with your right foot and then your left foot, taking little baby steps in towards your hands. And as you do so, you might need to come up onto your fingertips as you shorten that distance between your feet and your hands, coming into a forward fold where your arms are hanging heavy, your head's hanging heavy, your feet are about hips width apart. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins, bringing your heart forward, and then exhale, forward fold, hinging forward from the waist, folding your body in half, letting your head hang heavy, letting your arms hang heavy. Bend your knees a lot as you sink your hips down, grounding your feet into the earth, using your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Very good. All right, I'm gonna turn and face the long end of my mat. And let's just link some of our movement with our breath. So on an inhale, well, first of all, let's make sure you're standing correctly. Standing with your feet hips width apart with a slight bend in your knee, resting your arms down at your sides. On an inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head with your arms parallel to your ears, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down. One more time, and then we'll add on. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down. Now, adding on. You can keep doing what we're doing, or if you want to add more of a challenge to this exercise, as you breathe in, bringing your arms out to the side and up over your head, as your fingertips come up toward the ceiling, come up onto your toes, coming up into extended mountain pose. And then exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms forward and down. Let's do that again. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Woo, <laughs> coming up onto your toes into extended mountain pose. Exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms. Let's do that again. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your heels. All right, we're gonna add on, ready? <laughs> Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, 
This time, bring your hands together above your head as you come up onto your toes. Exhale. You can either lower your heels to the floor or stay on, stay up on your toes as you lower your hands to your heart. On an exhale. And then inhale, raise your arms back up above your head. Exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. And let's go through that again. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes, bringing your hands together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart. You can either lower your heels or stay up on your toes. Inhale, straighten your arms, bringing them, your hands back above your head. Exhale, lower your heels as you lower your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, sinking your hips down. Using your legs, um, ground your feet to the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, arms come out to this side, look over your head. Bring your hands together above your head as you come up onto your toes. And let's see if you can stay on your toes the whole time. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Inhale, extend your arms above your head again. Exhale, lower your heels as you lower your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Round your feet to the earth as you bend your knees, sinking your hips down. Use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Very nice. Okay, slightly different exercise, but still standing. Okay, so this time on an inhale, bring your arms forward and up where your arms are parallel, fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling, and then exhale, Lean to the right. So we're doing a crescent moon pose on our right, getting a nice stretch up on the left-hand side of our body. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lean to the left. So we're getting a nice stretch along the right-hand side of our bodies. Inhale to center. Bring your hands together above your head. As you exhale, lower your hands to your heart. As you bend your knees, sinking your hips down into a chair pose. Pausing in our chair pose, taking a couple breaths in and out. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, straighten your legs. Straighten your arms up above your body as you release your arms out to the side and down on an exhale. Hinge forwarding from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Use your legs to come all the way up to standing. Breathe in, bring your arms forward and up. Fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling and exhale to the right. Breathe into center, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling and exhale to the left. Breathe into center, bring your hands together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart as you bend your knees, sinking your hips down into that chair pose. Keep your belly button tucked in towards your spine. Taking a couple breaths in and out here. Let's go for two more breaths. One more, you can do it. 
Breathe in, straighten your legs, straighten your arms up above your body. As you release your arms out to the side and down on an exhale, hinge forwarding, yeah, hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. We're gonna add on this time. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet to the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Breathe in, bring your arms forward and up. Fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling and exhale to the right. Breathe in to center. Exhale to the left. Breathe in to center. Bring your hands together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart as you bend your knees, sinking your hips down into a chair pose. And let's hold our chair pose a little bit longer this time. Let's breathe in for four breaths this time. I know you can do it. Two more breaths. Relax your neck and shoulders. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Now put about two or three pounds of pressure in toward each hand, opening your elbows out wide, and let's twist to the left, drawing our right elbow over across our body to rest on our left leg. So you should be twisted to the left, looking at the wall to your left with your elbows out wide. Take a couple breaths in and out here. Breathe in, coming back to center with your hands at your heart. And let's do that on the other side. So breathe in and twist to the right, resting your left elbow on your right leg, opening your elbows out wide, looking at the wall to your right. Are your legs burning yet? <laughs> Bye, Dar. And release that twist, coming back to your chair pose. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms up above your body as you release your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Use your legs to come all the way back, back up to standing. On This was all on an inhale. Sorry, I didn't say that first. <laughs> Widen your legs wider than hips width apart. Let's do our airplane stretches. All right. So turn your feet out at about a 45 degree angle where my right foot is pointing toward the right corner of my mat or the right corner of the wall. And my left foot is pointing out at a 45 degree angle, pointing toward the left corner of the wall. Now open your arms out wide, broadening across the chest, uh, pointing your fingertips in opposite directions. Draw your belly button in towards your spine as you squeeze your glutes nice and tight. You can even squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take a nice deep breath in. On an exhale, lower your right arm down as your left arm comes up toward the sky as we lean to the right. Pausing to take a breath in and out here. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing in opposite directions, and that's airplane left. Exhale, lower your left arm down. Right arm comes up to the sky. On an inhale, letting the right side of your body get nice and long. Exhale, back to center. Let's take another deep breath in here. And that's airplane right. On an exhale, lower your right arm down as your left arm comes up toward the sky. Taking another breath in and out, pausing in this stretch. Inhale back to center. I apologize, I got my breathing off last time. 
Exhale, um, airplane left. Lower your left arm down, right arm comes up to the sky, leaning to the left. Inhale back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. Exhale, lower your right arm down. Uh, left arm comes up toward the sky as our airplane turns to the right. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing in opposite directions. Exhale, airplane to the left. Lower your left arm down, right arm comes up toward the sky. Be very mindful of your shoulders. You don't want your shoulder rolling in front of you. You want to keep your shoulder rolled back toward the wall behind you. You'll get a, a deeper stretch this way. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing in opposite directions. Exhale, hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Let your arms hang heavy, let your head hang heavy, and then just kind of rock side to side if that feels good for you. Walk your hands over to the right, resting your hands on your right leg. And pausing in this stretch, you may feel stretch along the back of your right leg. Release your hands off your right leg. Walk them over to the left or just let them float in the air as you come over to your left leg. Resting your hands on the outside of your left leg. Wherever that feels comfortable for you, you may be down touching the floor, your hands may be resting on your ankle or your, um, or your lower leg area, or maybe it's up on your, on your upper leg. Whatever feels good for you. Breathing into this stretch. Release your hands from that stretch, walking them back to center. Bend your knees so your hands come down to the floor. And then let's come down onto your hands and knees. And then whichever way feels good for you, we're gonna come all the way down onto the floor. You can even pause here for a moment to grab a drink of water. That's important. I'm gonna grab a drink of water real quick. But then we will meet together on our backs. So roll all the way down. Keeping your knees bent. Placing the soles of your feet on the floor. Just taking some easy breaths in and out, letting your body uh, feel settled into this position. Then draw one knee in and then the other and wrap your arms around your knees, giving your knees a big hug. And then you can just rock side to side for a moment. Taking some breaths in and out. And then release your arms from around your knees, placing your hands on top of your knees. And we're gonna draw circles on the ceiling. To do that, squeeze your knees together. Draw your knees to the left just a little bit and then away from your body, straighten your arms and then bring them over to the right. And then finally draw your knees in towards your chest again. And then move them to the left just a little, away from your body, to the right, and then draw them in toward your chest. And then just keep, keep going round and round in that motion. Drawing circles on the ceilings. You can imagine you have a pencil Squoze in between your legs and the lead is pointed toward the ceiling. And as your knees go round and round, you're drawing circles on the ceiling.
Don't forget to breathe. And then as you've gone one way several times, you can pause and go the other way. This also helps massage your lower back. It helps release any tension in your back. And when that feels complete, let your knees find stillness. Keep them hugged in towards your chest. Open your arms out wide, resting the backs of your hands on top of the floor. And then on an inhale, straighten your legs up above your body as you bring your arms up above your body as well. So now your arms and legs are parallel above your body and you're in an upside down forward fold. And then exhale, bend your knees and open your arms out wide, lowering your arms back down to the floor. Let's do that a couple more times before we add on. Breathe in, straighten your legs, bring your arms up above your body, where your arms and legs are parallel, fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees, open your arms out wide, lowering them down to the floor. Inhale, straighten your legs, raise your arms up above your body. Exhale, bend your knees, open your arms out wide. And also in this position, draw your belly button in towards your spine and um, be mindful of your core muscles. Keep your core muscles nice and strong. We're gonna try and do these movements or these um, stretches, try and not move the whole of your body. Let's try and make, do them smooth and controlled. Okay, inhale, straighten your legs above your body as you bring your arms above your body as well. So this is gonna be known as center, coming back to center. Adding on, inhale, Lower your arms back behind your head as you lower only your right leg down toward the floor, letting your right leg hover above the floor, again, keeping your core nice and strong. Inhale, raise your right leg back up to meet your left, bringing both arms back up to center. Inhale. Lower just your left leg down toward the floor as you lower your both your arms back behind your head, letting both hover above the ground. Inhale, coming back to center, bringing your left leg back to your right and arms above your body. Inhale, starting from the beginning, bend your knees, open your arms out wide. And this time, let your arms hover above the body. Let's not let, let um, the backs of your hands touch the floor. So your arms are out wide, hovering above your body. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Okay. Inhale, straighten your legs above your body as your arms come above your body. Exhale, lower your arms back behind your, your head as you lower your right leg down, letting them hover above the ground. Exhale, coming back to center with both arms and legs above your body. Exhale, lower your left leg down, both arms back. Inhale, coming back to center. Inhale, bend your knees, open your arms out wide. Then your arms Hover above the ground. Inhale, straighten both arms and legs above your body. Exhale, right leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bend both knees, open your arms out wide. Inhale, back to center. We're gonna do this one more time and then add on. Inhale, right leg down, both arms back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left arm down, both arms back. 
Inhale back to center. Inhale, bend both knees, open your arms out wide. We're going to add on this time. Inhale, back to center, both arms above your body. Inhale, right leg down, both arms back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower your left leg down, both arms back. Keep your belly button tucked in towards your spine as well. Inhale back to center. Okay, we're gonna add on. Either you can just bend your knees here and lower both your arms back behind your head, or if you're wanting more of a challenge today, as you lower your arms back behind your head, you can also lower both legs down toward the floor, letting both legs hover above the ground. Inhale back to center, and now we'll start over. Inhale, open your arms out wide, bending both knees. Inhale back to center. Inhale, right leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Inhale, both legs down, or you can bend your knees, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Let's go through this one more time. Inhale, bend both knees, open your arms out wide. Inhale back to center. Exhale, right leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left arm down, or left leg down, both arms back. Inhale back to center. Inhale, either bend your knees or lower both legs down. Inhale back to center. Oh, then exhale fully as you lower your arms down to your sides, bending your knees, lowering both feet to the floor. Okay, take a moment and just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. This will help relieve any tension you might have. Yeah, gotten in your lower back as you were doing those stretches. That's a good core movement. Good job, everyone. All right, let your knees find stillness. Resting your arms down at your sides, ground your feet into the earth, and use your arms as a little boost as you lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, lower your chin down towards your chest, squeeze your glutes together, and then exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. Let's do that again. Grounding your arms and your feet into the earth. On an inhale, lift your hips up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. And if you, if you would like, you can do this little add-on. This next time on an inhale, as you ground your feet into the earth, you can either leave your arms where they are or as you lift your hips up toward the ceiling, you can also lift your arms up above your body and back behind your head as you lift your hips up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms. Inhale, lift your hips up toward the ceiling as you raise your arms up above your body and back behind your head. Drawing your belly button in toward your spine, squeeze your glutes together. Exhale, lower your arms, lower your hips to the floor. Let's do this two more times. Breathe in, ground your feet to the earth as you lift your hips up toward the, the ceiling, raising your arms up and back. Exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms. One more time. Inhale, raise your arms up above your body and back behind your head as you lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Let's pause in this stretch, taking a couple of breaths in and out. And 
and release. Lower your arms to the floor, lower your hips to the floor. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. You can rock side to side if that feels good for you. Open your arms out wide. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead and lower your knees all the way to the floor. Coming into a nice twisting stretch. You can turn your head the opposite way that your knees are facing. Pausing in the stretch, taking a couple breaths in and out. Beginning to let your muscles release and relax. On an inhale, bring one knee in and then the other. Let's do that on the other side. So on an exhale, gently let your knees fall all the way to the floor on the other side. You can turn your head the opposite way that your knees are facing. Taking some nice cleansing breaths in and out. Maybe exhaling out through your mouth like a big sigh. Releasing any tension. Breathe in, bringing one knee in and then the other. Give yourself one last big hug. And then release your arms from around your knees, lowering one leg and then the other. Extending your legs out nice and long. You can either keep both hands down on either side of you, or if you would like, you can place both hands on your belly or one on your belly, one on your heart. What, uh, whatever feels good for you. Just filling the air as it comes in through your lungs, filling up your lungs, filling up your belly, and then exhale. Then your exhales draw out longer than your inhales. As you let your muscles relax and release, letting your muscles begin to soften and relax. Letting your body soften into our relaxing shavasana. Let your mind fade away to a place where you feel safe. To a place where you feel warm and where you feel at peace and where you feel happy. Maybe this is a real place. Maybe a place in your home where you feel safe and where you feel loved. Or maybe it's an imaginary place. Some place you go in your mind where you feel peace and joy and where you feel loved. See in your mind what this place looks like. What smells do you smell in the air? What feelings can you touch? Do you feel the softness of a blanket? Or maybe you feel the warm sun on your face. What do you hear? Maybe you hear birds singing in the trees. 
or maybe you're hearing the waves lap up onto the sand. And who's there with you? Is it a loved one? Or is it your best furry friend laying next to you? Do you feel warm? Do you feel at peace? All those feelings in your heart. And now as you breathe in, imagine that peace and that love filling your heart and then spreading throughout your whole body, feeling that warmth. Go out through your arms, down through the core of your body, and out through your legs, shooting out your fingers and your toes, feeling your whole body warm, filling it with warmth and love. Begin to notice the sounds in the room. Noticing the weight of the floor underneath you. Noticing the touch of the air on your skin. Noticing the feel of your clothes on your skin. Noticing your surroundings. Hearing the sound of my voice. Maybe you'd like to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes as you wake your body up. And then if you'd like to join me on an inhale, you can raise your arms up above your body and back behind your head as you stretch your fingers and toes in opposite directions as you wake your body up. And as you exhale, Throw your arms down to your sides. And then taking your time, you can roll onto one side in whichever way feels comfortable for you. And then gently lifting yourself back up to an easy seated cross-legged position. Resting your hands down on either side of you. Let's take a nice deep breath in as we bring our arms out to the side and up over our heads, filling our lungs full of air. And then as you exhale out through your mouth like a big sigh, lower your arms down to your sides. Let's do that again. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head. Bring your hands together above your head, and as you exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Thank you so very much, my friends, for sharing your yoga practice with me today. May the rest of your weekend and all next week be filled with much joy and peace and love. Namaste.